My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Leather Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 56 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. And this episode brings an end to matrices and determinants. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall be looking at 3 by 3 matrices in this class, especially the determinant of 3 by 3 matrices. What else? We've already learned the algebra of matrices not exceeding 3 by 3. Addition, subtraction, and multiplication of 2 by 2, 3 by 3 matrices. We've done that, even other dimension of matrices. We've been able to look at the inverse of 2 by 2 matrices. Now, let's see the determinant of 3 by 3 matrices since we've already, we've already looked at for 2 by 2 matrices. Remember, I don't like stories. I love to go straight to the point to teach you what you should do. If I give you something like this and they say find this guy, P, it means find the determinants. Charm will not ask you for the inverse of 3 by 3 matrices. The first step to find determinants of 3 by 3 matrices is come here, put plus here, put minus here, put plus here. Are you done with that? Yes. Do like this, do like this, and do like this. First thing, pick out plus one. You have plus one. After writing plus one, write the matrix sign like this. This is what we are dealing with, right? Do something like this. And do something like this. Along the one we are dealing with, like this and like this. Doing that, what will remain? We will be left with 4, 0, 5, and 1. Close it. Now, pick the second one, which is minus 0. Minus 0. Draw the matrix boss like this. In this minus 0, do something like this. Then, since we are dealing with here, you do something like this. Now that you've done this and this, what is remaining that is not crossed? It is 3, minus 1, 5, and 1. Here, we are dealing with plus minus 1. So that is plus minus 1. You do something like this. It's like this now. What is remaining? Here and here already crossed. 3 minus 1, 4 and 0 are remaining. 3 minus 1, 4 and 0. This is the essence. Anyone you are dealing with, ignore the values that are in the same row and column with it. If you are dealing with 1, the ones that are in the same row and column with 1, ignore them. Write out the remaining. If you are dealing with uh, row 2, no, row 1, column 2, Ignore these numbers that are under the column and ignore the number that they are in the same row. You have this remaining. Dealing with the third one, ignore the ones that are in the same column. Ignore the ones that are in the same row. Write out the others. This is a way of converting 3 by 3 matrices to 2 by 2 matrices to make life easier for us. If it were 4 by 4 matrices, you do plus, minus, plus, minus. Then with that, be able to convert all of them to 3 by 3 matrices. From there, you convert 3 by 3 matrices to 2 by 2 matrices. Then you solve. But that is beyond the scope of this class. This is plus 1. The determinant of this guy is 1 times 4, 4, minus 0 times 5, 0. 
minus 0. 1 and 3 is 3. Minus, minus 1 times 5. That is minus 5. Minus minus 5. That is plus 5. For the sake of jam, this is already 0. Everything here will definitely change to 0. We wipe. So for the sake of jam, you can actually skip this step and say plus times minus 1 is minus 1. And 0 times 3 is 0 minus minus 1 times 4 is minus 4. 0 minus minus 4. That is 0 plus 4. This will simply be plus 1. 4 minus 0 is 4. Minus 1. 0 plus 4 is 4. This is 1 times 4. 4 minus 1. <laughs> Everything here is actually 0. That is what I got. Let's see if I am correct. And let's see if 0 is in the option. 0 is in the option. So option B is the correct option. If this 3 by 3 matrix is equals 132, find the value of S. Just like we did for 2 by 2 matrices, in 3 by 3 matrices, if 1 is equals the other, what you simply do is this. Find the determinant of this and equate it to 132. And to find the determinant of this guy, we start with plus, minus, plus. We bring out plus 2, then like this, like this, like this. What is left is 1, 3, 4, 2. We pick out minus, minus 5. This minus must be there. You write out the minus. Then here is minus 5. You add the minus 5. So don't say only one minus. No. This minus must already be there. And this value here is minus 5. So once you cross here like this also, for here and here, what is left is S042. Since we ignore the column and the row, then we are in plus 3. Plus 3. Under this plus 3, we ignore this column, ignore the row that it is. We are left with S013. This is equals 132. If I am correct, plus 2 will mean 2 times 1 is 2, minus 3 times 4, 12. That is the determinant of this guy. Minus times minus is plus, so plus 5. 2 times s is 2s, minus 0 times 4, 0. Plus 3, 3 times s is 3s, minus 0 times 1, 0. This is 132. 12 minus, 2 minus 12, that is minus 10, times 2, minus 20, plus 2s minus 0. Yes, already 2s, times 5, 10s plus 9s is equals 132. Collecting like terms, 19s is equals 152. Yes, because 132 plus 20 is 152. s is equals 152 divided by 19. 152 divided by 19 seems impossible. Ladies and gentlemen, to the best of my surprise, to the best of my shock, this is equals 8. If you want to confirm, multiply 8 by 19, you will get 152. Look at this. In jam, if you don't know how to, there is calculator, we know. But there is no calculator, and you already arrive at 159, 152 over 19, then the options, you are seeing 5, 8, 3, and 6. To know which one is actually correct, use the answer to multiply the denominator. Anyone that gives you the numerator, 
is the correct answer. With this, we come to the end of matrices and determinants. I trust you found this helpful. See you in the next episode where we shall be introducing geometry and trigonometry. It is going to be very, very interesting. Brace yourself up for the class and please get the Flash Nana Jam application and begin to play with further questions under matrices. If you have any problem, feel free to let me know. See you in the next episode.